jackets or your swimsuits. I know that all of you came with a healthy attitude to keep you young. And for the next few days, the track, the pool, the courts, they'll be a testament to your commitment to a healthy and fit lifestyle. Now that I'm 79, I don't want to be like the other 79-year-old ladies and just eat and play cards. <laughs> I don't take no blood pressure medicine. I don't take any cholesterol. All I do is take vitamins and have fun. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do a fancy trot like that, too. And I use this as bait to get the rest of them in. Last year, only three of us came. This year, we brought a busload of 50 people. And I use this as bait to get them here. They saw it and they want it. You want it, don't you? Of course I want it and I'm <laughs> going to get it too. On your marks. <laughs> Set. Go ahead. It's the 100, it's in lanes all the way, right in front of you. I'll give you three commands. It'll be runners on your marks, set, and then the gun. Okay, if it, for any reason, once you're in the set position, you want to start all over, raise your hand, and I'll bring you up. Are there any questions? Dorothy? It's 100 meters. For 100 meters? For what age group? 85 to 89. I came in third for the 100 meter run and uh, I'm 83 years old. And I came in second for the 100 meter run and I'm 87. <laughs> I'm naked blind. I can't believe I did it. I don't believe I ran. I don't believe. Oh, great job. Well, I have lymphoma, and if I'm going to stay alive, I need to keep running. <laughs> and it's fun. And it's fun to, to win, and it's fun to do well. Boy, that hurts when I... I need a new rib cage. <laughs> Um, after this, I leave for Puerto Rico in the World Championships, and then the Pan Pack Games in Sacramento, and Eugene, Oregon for the USA Track and Field Nationals, and maybe in between there, the um, either the Empire Games or um, the Eastern Regionals of USA Track and Field are the same day. So probably USA Track and Field, a little closer. Let Pat run with the 50s. Let Pat run with your 50s. Uh, you'd be surprised today. How can you win against this gazelle? Well, I don't know. If you add point, I was saying one man. You add point two five for electric timing. Oh, a little slow. <laughs> oh, I can't work. Like well, the age is just a number, and you're going to find some pretty talented guys out here who could probably run with the guys a lot younger than they are. But it's a, it's just a good competition, and we enjoy it. We've had competitors here in past years as old as 80 years old still playing. 
So it's a great activity, keeps them recreating, keeps them involved, keeps them in shape, living longer and healthier lives. The people on the outside need to come and see what we're doing, and the people that are our age need to come out and participate. The friends that you'll make here will be for a lifetime. I think that's just so encouraging to see older people who are all out there, and some of them have gone through periods of sickness or illness. They get back up and keep going, and it just, you know, it's, it's good, and it's encouraging. As you get older, you know, you think, geez, I ache and this and that, but you're going to keep going because other people are doing it too, and you know you can. Okay, black starts on this end, red on that end. Okay. Because you reverse. Yeah, that's the way it works. Oh. Ordinarily, that's the way it okay. is. Okay. Reverse. Reverse. Okay. Okay. We're learning the game. <laughs> He's playing here. Yeah. I'm 82. I'm 86. 86. in your eighth bracket in the sport of shuffleboard. Congratulations. <laughs> by the power and authority vested in me by the Empire State Senior Games, I award you the gold medal in your eighth bracket in shuffleboard. Sports. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and we got a medal, too. Well, it makes us feel good, you know. <laughs> you know, I mean, every day you can get a medal, especially a, a gold medal. I go home, like I take plenty of pictures, I make a collage, and I work in the public schools, and when I show them what seniors can do, they are flabbergasted, because, you know, they think seniors go to Atlantic City and, you know, do, sit on the couch, but when they see them, and I even showed them the video. 69. Yes, yeah, seriously. 69. Hello. Got it going on. It, it's good. not over till it's over. Fute. I'm from uh, Harlem, New York City, and uh, I'm the coach and instructor for the Hon Honey Harlem and Bears. We travel around. We are in competition every year 
from all the boroughs. And as of for the last five years, we've been the borough champions, citywide champions. Right? Well, we, we do all the five boroughs, Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, Staten Island. And then we also come up here, but this is our first time performing up here in Portland. We've also went to Baltimore, Schenectady, New York, and a few other places in the state of New York to uh, compete. Well, it takes me about two weeks to choreograph a routine, and every performance we do a different routine. We, you know, we do a different routine every performance, and we perform about three times a month. to these seniors. It's one of the things that keeps these seniors in shape and that's something that they really need. Their spirits are always high because of these games and they love it. And this is what they're here for. That was nice. Leon Bellinger. How old are you, Leon? 77. 77. This is Artie, Artie Costello. Costello. 74. This is Mercedes Brown. I'll be 80 in September. John Stokes, I'm 71. And Vernon Charles from Brooklyn, 76. We compete in citywide and also we come up to Cortland every year and we do the Empire State Games. Tell them about the dancing. Oh, we do dancing, we do tennis, we do water race walking, we do water ballet like that one that yep. you saw. Yeah. Well, we have one we too. We are active And we senior beat group. them this year. So, would you say that... Uh, you keep doing it more for the competition or just for staying in shape or for the friendship? Well, for everything, all, all all friendship, especially friendship. And yeah. health. And, and health. Yeah. Exercise. I'm sitting in here for the metal, <laughs> which, 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 which I never win. <laughs> but I'm, I haven't given up. I haven't given up. I'm still hanging in there. a 5k race walk okay everybody is here for the race walk okay okay remember there's two there's two basic rules to walking number one is you have to keep your legs straight from when your foot touches the ground until your leg is under your body okay and the other is um, you can't have any visible loss of contact so in other words we shouldn't be able to see both of your feet off the ground at the same time Go. I just broke the age record, United States age record. I just broke that just now. I like competition. I like to travel. I like to go to places where the events are held. And I like the people. And certainly from New York State, I love New York State. So, and the senior games as well. Gold medal for Bob Barrett in the 65 to 69 right. category. I'll compete as long as my legs can keep going. There's an old adage, a Chinese, a Chinese uh, uh, philosophy, which says you die from the feet up. So as long as those feet can keep me going, I keep going with them. Yo. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I know you'll do it. Thank you. 
on our team, we had, what, a quadruple bypass, at least one, oh, yes, a valve heart replacement, uh, one of all the these kind of things. Everyone has had a major operation, even yeah. back operations. And everybody's playing. Yeah, yeah, I've had surgery. I had colon surgery about six years ago. So that's the attitude. Uh, it's just an attitude. And it's a healthy attitude. We're, we're out here for Team Opa. Team Opa is uh, the Mori and Stevens family supporting Norm Morey, who's uh, 73 years old and riding in all three of the bike races today and tomorrow. Opa means grandpa in German, German. Mm -hmm. and uh, that's how he's known in the family as Opa. And I happen to be Oma. <laughs> so we're here to cheer him on and, and all the bikers, really, because it is great. This is to have this kind of support. It's just wonderful. But they've supported me in all of my games, so I appreciate that. And what, what are you competing in? I'm going to be key, uh, competing in the 5, the 10, and the 20K. You know, it's, uh, I'm a 19-year-old kid <laughs> in the body of a 73-year-old man, that's all. So I'm just going to go out and do what I can do. Three, two, one, roll. Go, Terry. Good job. Come on, Don, do well. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Everybody, Go for it, just so you know, keep your numbers. If you're doing the 10K road race, keep your numbers for the 20K, or I'm sorry, 10K time trial and the 20K road race. When you think about sports, usually I think of younger athletes that compete, and I, it's just amazing that a person can be that athletic so late in the game, and how my opa is able to do these, what, 5K, 10K, 20K races, and still do it with relative ease. It's just amazing to me. 916. 916. Woo! Yeah! Alright, I'll go up and roll. I started out with the 500 free, then I did 100 IM. I'm getting psyched up for the 50 free, which is not a good event for me. I'm not really a sprinter. And then I'm doing the uh, 50 breast, 100 breast, and 200 free. Today I'm in seven events. I have gone from bowling earlier this morning. We just did the doubles, mixed doubles are next. Then we're going for the 100 in track and field to shoot the javelin, high jump, and long jump. This is this is the winner right here. Look no, at him. I'm Look at him closely. I'm not running the 100. That's why he's the winner because he's not running the 100. <laughs> I do 11 things. I do yes, stay in a 5K, also 5K walking, then tomorrow 10K, then also I'm doing high jump, long jump, then I do in 100, 200, 800, 1500, and I do 11 bend. 
and you meet a lot of new people, you're with a lot of new people, and it's just nice. And they're all seniors, so everybody understands about everybody can't walk, talk, or fold their fingers or whatever. Everybody understands what's going on. Can I run down there and kick it? Yeah. <laughs> On, on, my on the front and the back, yes. Okay. A lot of it needs to be yeah. pinned on. Just, pinned on. This one here, no, the whole, yeah. the whole. Oh, I see what you're doing. But the, like yeah. this, yep. and then on the back. Do we still have right. a walk? <laughs> no, you swim. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Runner set. I'm 51, he's 81. 81 and a half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 51 and a half. It's the second year we've done this. Last year was the first year I was eligible. And uh, he was joking with people last year and said, boy, it makes you feel old when your son is eligible to run the, old enough to run the senior games. And I told him, well, you are old, you're 80. That's not middle age. <laughs> they asked me if I was the son or the father, and I said, I'm the son. <laughs> suggest well let's sign up for the 5k because that way we'll be in the same race and we really feel like we're participating together but he kind of made a pact that every year we can both run we're gonna go for consecutive years keep doing it just like everything else through the years you have to try to do well at the bottom of your age bracket now you see I'm 81 and a half there'll be some new young kids coming in at 80 with a time of 37.29 was Russell Moore. Yeah. It isn't about the medals, it's about the participation. He signed up for five events. So, you know, we'll see. It's a lot of fun, and it's good exercise. <laughs> Even when I come in last, I beat the guys that stayed home. <laughs> uh, seniors are the longest living uh, group of people, and it, it improves our quality of life, our health, and, uh, and our social skills. And, you know, it is just good for our well-being. I'm going to live to be 100. They say, according to theory, I'm supposed to live 15 years and 8 more months, so I figured I might as well make it another Make it 20. Somebody came in yesterday, gave me, I think it was a 90 year old woman who ran the 100 yard dash in 19 seconds, 20 seconds, something like that. You know, they, they, it's, it's amazing some of the things that these people do. And we hope that, again, that they, they maybe some other people get excited about it too and, you know, test themselves out a little bit more and maybe maybe they'll break a record one day or just, you know, it's not so much breaking records, but, you know, doing better than you thought you could do yourself, you know, and that's, that's what it's all about, always pushing yourself to strive to be the best.